I've developed a theory of pitching over the years, again, that came from the moment when I started being pitched to instead of being the one doing the pitching. And uh, it basically goes like this, that, that, that when you're being pitched to, and this happened here today, although when you're in an office, someone comes in and they don't have four minutes, they can take an hour, they, you know, someone will sit down and basically after a minute, you're going, okay, now wait a minute, was, was that the daughter or was that the sister? And uh, wait a minute, he said Washington, but now he's talking about New York, and you feel the sense like you're getting lost, okay? And then the person's been talking five, six, seven, eight minutes, and you're going, are we still in act one? <laughs> you know, I haven't yet heard what the movie's about. And what you realize is that the person listening to your pitch is as anxious as you are because they're getting lost. And by the way, you saw us get lost up here today. And getting lost is a scary thing when you're trying to deal with someone and trying to decide what you should do. So I realized that there's a way to handle these things that's very simple, but also very challenging. And what I realized is the thing to do is go in and tell your idea in one sentence, okay? Uh, <laughs> Start then, you know, and, and then tell your idea in three sentences, okay? This proves out to be very, very difficult to tell your idea in three sentences. You know, uh, a girl finds herself swept up by a tornado and goes to another world uh, where she thinks she's going to find her heart's desire, and then it turns out that her heart's desire was where she was In her own was backyard. Originally. Blah, blah, blah. I want to buy that. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, then tell your story in 10 sentences. This is the really challenging part. 10 sentences uh, enables you to tell what happens in act one, act two, act three, enables you to tell all the main characters, enables you to tell the main themes, but you've gotta really, really understand your story in order to tell it in 10 sentences. And what I have found, I've been using this, this for many years now, and what I found is that first of all, many times you don't sell something because you're midway through your first sentence and they say, oh, I'm sorry, we already have something set in France in the 18th century and you're already dead, okay? But the point is, what I've discovered is that I've never made it through all the 10 sentences. When I've sold a project, if the, if the uh, uh, executives are engaged, by midway through that third concentric circle, they start talking to me. Well, what about this? Oh, I get it. Well, then they could do this. Da, 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 da. Never made it through the 10 sentences. But the point is, you will understand your story and you will understand the dynamics of your story if you can break it down in that way. And you will then have a roadmap that you're giving to the executive that will make them feel comfortable and understand what they're dealing with so that they can be on the same side as you. So I offer that as a... As a that's great. You know, that's, that's very good.